this is a memo that I might not post, but I've been kind of like thinking about it today. So I want to record it just so that I can look back at it and kind of review if I still feel the same way. So a lot of people are opening the conversation they're opening up to having a conversation about mental health and like what it means to be mentally healthy or not in terms of their lived perspective i think it's a useful conversation to have because so many people have never had it before so just the fact that people are acknowledging that it exists great but it's kind of like think about if someone were to start to say like the words computer science <laughs> very different from having a phd in computer science right like i can say the words computer science without having any context to what an algorithm is what a data structure is what cloud can be like you don't have to know anything you can just say the words computer science so i feel like that's where people are with mental health they're like mental health <laughs> that's, it. that's as far as the conversation really goes nobody like digs deeper than that they just say the words and now they believe they're informed fucking Americans right but okay so now people are having a conversation about mental health and let's talk about like mental health in America but to talk about that you have to talk about mental health in relation to trauma which is also very specific to certain incidents like there's context involved so the more trauma a person experiences the more dire their need for like mental health care like they need more specific care the more trauma that they've like gone through okay so that's the thing we kind of understand that but there's also um a literal history of racism jim crow and slavery in america specifically now this has been normalized for like a very long time not like a day or like a year <laughs> it was like centuries um, and so a part of that, that means that there were people, a lot of people, most people in the society were living, right? They were going to work, they went to school. The psychology books haven't really gotten much different, especially in terms of like psychology and what we know about the human brain and the human experience. Like we didn't learn a whole bunch of new shit in the last like, I don't know, a few years. <laughs> to where like all of a sudden now we understand that like trauma and mental health are related and also what do you call it like actualization that being like a real thing you needing to have like a whole lived human experience in order to be able to like self-actualize you need to see like positive representations of yourself now white americans and like white people in general like understand that because that's why you they don't want to see they don't want to popularize their own children being like drug addicts on the street being homeless being crack whores sluts prostitutes like all that shit is not normalized you're not you don't see movies about it you don't hear blog posts about it all you do you just see me post about it but if you actually go out into the real world there's actually like a very large number of like white drug users, white crack whores, white prostitutes, they're everywhere. But why don't we see any media about it? It's because they're trying to protect the mental health of white children. But in this country and kind of like around the globe, no one really gives a shit about the mental health of black children. So this is why they will like normalize and they did not, they not only like normalize media around it, you can find so many images of white people taking black children and dumping them into rivers and feeding them to alligators. Those are the white people that are here. <laughs> like, this is someone's grandmother who did that. They're still alive. They're still here. Nobody went to therapy for that. <laughs> Nobody ever unpacked it. There's like, there's like the one psychologist, that Indian woman who was like, white people have a real problem with racism there's something wrong with them mentally. She was the only person to take a like an academic stance and say, according to what I know about modern day psychology, here's what I would call a mentally retarded person and clumped it up as like 
Caucasians in general. But if you look at like the history of what's actually happened, like I'm not fabricating anything right now. I'm just reading out facts. And it's weird because like these aren't even like, they're not refutable. Like I could just hold up a photo and then just put it in this video and be like, this is what I'm talking about. There will be a white person standing there with a black baby feeding the baby to an alligator. That's a mentally healthy person. That's what this society never like looked at that white person. They were like, wow, you are mentally unhealthy. Someone needs to help you. Everyone said, this is fine. This is normal. Normalize this behavior. That is what this society said. Now, if that does not indicate a mentally unhealthy society and something seriously wrong with the people here, if you can't kind of put those two things together and be like, yeah, there's probably something wrong here. It might be you who has a bit more unpacking to do about what mental health is. Now, there's another thing that I'm starting to realize around destitution and poverty and destitution, poverty and communities of color. Now there's an assumption that all people of color are poor <laughs> and therefore all people of color come from trauma and therefore all people of color should be treated very similarly now. I'm not sure like who made this up, white people probably, I don't know. But whoever said television, propaganda, bullshit, media, whoever said it, it's kind of retarded, but it is literally how people feel. And they are walking through the world with this assumption. And it's kind of like, bitch, I'm right here. Like I didn't like appear yesterday. I'm not new here, but it's like, that's not my experience and still, <laughs> Like me actually being alive and living something different is not enough to refute someone's like experience of watching television. Now, there's so much there, right, that I could unpack more, but I think you get it. The problem is the country. The problem is the history with the country. And the problem is no one is addressing it. We can't wake up tomorrow where you have a whole bunch of white chicks who tan themselves to try to look like me <laughs> and, like, and pretend like now we're all equal because curly hair is in. Like fuck all that, stop. Throw, throw in the towel, bitch. Like nobody likes Kylie Jenner except other white girls. There are a lot of them in society, that's true. There's a lot of them, but <laughs> in the globe, there's only 700 on the planet, on planet earth as of today. There are only 700 million white people on the whole planet. They are dying out at an alarming rate, not even in a joking way, not in like, oh, I'm like being, I'm, I'm, I'm stretching or I'm reaching, I'm not reaching, I'm not reaching. I am literally just giving you like real time statistics. 